If you were at the University of Arizona Museum of Art recently, you may have seen Dr. Charles Falco admiring the paintings, just not the way other people might. It occurred to me um, about a year and a half ago that the sensors that are in digital cameras are silicon, and I know that silicon has sensitivity out into the infrared. There's red, green, blue filters placed over the sensor. So if they did block all the infrared, even though the sensor itself would be sensitive, maybe the camera wouldn't be. So it um, wasn't clear that what I was going to try to do was going to work. For less than $2,000, Falco was able to adapt a consumer digital camera into an infrared camera, which allows him to see underneath certain layers of a painting. First, I did some just tests outdoors, make sure things were working right. And then the very first place I came to do a real test was the University of Arizona Art Museum. The very first trip here, I came back with discovery, things that nobody had ever seen before that I was able to capture with my camera. Here's the, what it looks like in the visible, and let me just make this a little bit bigger for you. And notice, um, for example, we have nice yellow back here, and there's nothing going on near the back of the uh, pedestal. But if we go to the infrared, suddenly we see the artist has made lots of marks, probably to tell himself to fill that in with yellow, and we see lines extending from the pedestal. Now, what's the significance of those lines? Let me connect the lines. And the lines all go to a beautiful vanishing point. So we see that this particular artist use the laws of perspective to construct at least the pedestal. One of the modifications is that it turns out that infrared light comes to a focus further away from the front of the lens than visible light. And so normally you would have um, the infrared out of focus if you focused on it in the visible. Well, you can electronically adjust for that. There are infrared cameras that are better than mine, that have higher resolution than mine. They cost $100,000. Not only does this, as it stands, cost less than $2,000? It allows anyone without specialized knowledge, any um, conservator, any um, curator, to do the work themselves.